Hello, and welcome to Popcorn News, something to watch while you eat popcorn. Do not try to comprehend it all, nay, just eat the popcorn. Those are my Hillary Clinton impressions that in the local newspaper, every time Hillary Clinton would steal another primary election, they'd have a photo of her, and it was always like this. So, I know I'm always knocking the local newspaper, the News Gazette, and what do they do? They confound me by actually writing a good editorial uh, from July 6, 2016. Clinton gets her biggest win. July 5, 2016 will go down in U.S. history. It's the day presidential candidate Hillary Clinton escaped federal indictment and it's actually good I mean they cover the bases uh, in this thing so I, I don't get it you know why are they suddenly doing some good writing who can say but Hillary Clinton is Israel's gal and Donald Trump put out a tweet uh, that had a six-pointed star and they all made a big deal like oh it's anti-semitic but uh, uh, it's not anti-semitic to be critical of Israel and Hillary Clinton is a war candidate and what is the war to be about well when she was Secretary of State there were at least 20 Arab Spring uprisings that all suddenly occurred and she was Secretary of State and these supposedly amazing uprisings uh, were all fomented by State Department and CIA. The bowels of the internet for what I think are important news stories that are either being overlooked or indeed suppressed by the controlled mainstream media. The first story in this series is a bombshell beyond belief and it has got absolutely no traction in the controlled media for obvious reasons as it paints a story of Hillary Clinton and her blood-stained hands that is in direct contradiction to her narrative as a compassionate woman mother and grandmother now playing out in the media as the US builds up for the general election in November. Hillary Clinton the presumptive nominee for the Democratic Party of the 2016 election for the President of the United States has a lot of skeletons in her closet. So many bones keep falling out, however, it's hard to keep track, but this one is significant. A leaked Hillary Clinton email confirms that the Obama administration, with Hillary at the helm of the State Department, orchestrated a civil war in Syria that has since spilled over into neighboring Iraq, and is a conflict that's The plan was to... Uh promote chaos and then out of chaos order uh, ab ko ordo or something like that and they're gonna then they out of the case of, they're gonna redraw the map of the middle east but things are going not so well and so it, it's time to put in hillary as the president because barack obama whatever you think of him he was more of a peaceful person. He was kind of reluctant for any war escalations, but he he got he was under a lot of pressure. But when Hillary gets in, it'll be war, my friend. And at least I won't be going because I'm 63 and a half years old. And I don't think they're going to be expecting me to go out and kill the commies. But for somebody that's in their 20s, well, what do you do when the Federal Reserve has failed to defeat the Great Depression or Great Recession? 
Well, you, you sent, send off these people, this lost generation, to go get killed in the Middle East. For the glory of Israel. And who do you put in as the president? Israel's Gale. So I guess I've uh, vented enough. And sorry if I'm talking so slow. But uh, that's what it boils down to. And how do you make sense of it all? There's so much popcorn popping that you might as well just say do not try to comprehend it all. Nay, just eat the popcorn.